Hello, hello, hello! It is Stasia and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So, if you watched my week one vlog, I am literally in the exact same spot because I just wrapped up that video. So if you have not watched it, I will link it above and below if you want to check it out. But today, we are starting week two of the Back to Kindle Readathon. Um, so today is June 7th, and yeah, so that it is the evening. So I'm not sure how much reading I'll actually get done, but I did want to pop on because I wanted to get let you guys know what we're going to be starting the week with. So the prompt I'm focusing on right now is not talked about much, so you know it's not hyped, no one really talks about it, anything like that. Yeah, this is kind of cheating because both of these books like just came out, like literally just came out today, so obviously they're not going to be talked about much, but it's fine. So yes, yeah, so if you have not watched my first vlog, then I would just give you guys a quick recap. We do have nine prompts, but I am so motivated to read all of the books that I'm actually choosing two books per prompt. So like I said, both of these books are for the prompts of not talked about much. So the first book that I'm reading is Side Squeeze by Lydia Michaels. And then the second one I'm reading is Dead Draw by Layla Rain. Yeah, so I'm not really sure what either of them are about, but I know that Dead Draw is a male male romance, which I'm really excited about because it is Pride Month. So that'll be super fun to get into. But yep, just wanted to pop on really quick, give you guys an update, let you guys know what I'm going to start the week reading. And that's pretty much all I have to say, but I will be on when I get 50% into either of these books. Hello friends, um, I did want to hop on real quick because I have a couple updates. First and foremost, I am 50%, I believe, into Side Squeeze. And I'm not really sure how I'm feeling about that one yet. Um, Ryland had actually mentioned to me that the author, Lydia Michaels, I believe is her name, is actually a really good author. Uh, this does seem a bit of maybe a slow burn. It's all really confusing, but it's basically following um, our main character who suddenly bumps into this guy that she was really into and like seeing in high school, which was like years ago. So she bumps into him, but um, last time she seen him, he just like disappeared out of nowhere. So they're trying to figure that out. Um, and it seems like it's getting pretty repetitive, even at the 50% mark. So I'm curious to see where that's gonna go. Uh, but I do wanna finish that tonight or tomorrow. Uh, but I did want to come on because I actually started a new book today and I'm already 50% into it. And that book is Lover by Hattie Jude. And I'm loving it. So this is the third and final book in her Loxley, Loxley prep series and it is like a reverse harem series but this book just got released today on the 9th so i wanted to go ahead and binge this all three books um or the first two books i read it in a day each so i'm pretty confident that i could get through this one and rylan is also reading it at the same time as me so we've been like exchanging thoughts and things so 50 percent into this book i'm super enjoying it the spice is there um a lot of things got answered, but there's still quite a few questions. Uh, we have 50% to go, and I'm really excited to see how everything is going to resolve and what's actually going to happen. I'm pretty anxious about it, um, but I am loving all of our characters as I usually have in the past two books. Uh, can't really say much thoughts on this book specifically because I would spoil things for the first two books, um, but... I'll just say that I am enjoying it and I hope to finish it tonight. Hello friends, uh, quick update because I just finished Lover, uh, really enjoyed it. And so that was my first book for under 300 pages prompt. Uh, like I said, I really enjoyed it. I gave it 4.5 stars. Um, I believe I gave books one and two five stars. Uh, love them both. I love this series. Like I do think I'm going to buy this series physically because I loved it. Um, it introduced it, it introduced me to like the reverse harem world, 
which I loved. So I need more recommendations on that trope. All in all, I can't really <laughs> say my thoughts because it would spoil a lot. Uh, but I will say that the reason why it was a 4.5 instead of a 5 star was because I wanted a bit more from like a certain situation. I felt like things kind of moved really fast towards the end. And so since it moved so fast, it was kind of anticlimactic. Like nothing was really like shocking. Like, oh my gosh, I need a minute to like sit on this because it was just going so fast and then it was done. So um, apart from that, really loved it, really enjoyed it. Love these boys. They're so great. Uh, Wells is like superior. He's my main of the four boys uh, if you do read the series. But yeah, so that is done. And so now I'm going to jump back into the other two books I was reading, which is Dead Draw and Side Squeeze. So yeah, I'm only about 10% into Dead Draw and I still have not read more from the 50% of Side Squeeze uh, since I last updated you guys on that. So those are now the priority. Both of those are for the prompt of not talked about much, I believe. So I will hop on again when either when I'm either 50% into dead draw or when I finish side squeeze. Hello friends, quick update. Um it is Sunday night. It's fine. Uh anyways, I'm here to update you guys because I just finished side squeeze by Lydia Michaels. Um and it was okay. I read this for the prompt of not talked about much. And yeah, so I ended up giving it three stars. It honestly wasn't my favorite. Um, I found it to be extremely repetitive and I did not enjoy our like main male character at all. Um, I just thought it was very kind of weird. Um, it's kind of like a second chance romance. It, it follows Harrison and Mariella. So Harrison and Mariella had like this, not really relationship, but they were like exclusive to each other, but it wasn't like super public. And they had that whole situation in high school. And then one day Harrison kind of just leaves town, doesn't tell anyone he's leaving and just disappears, doesn't call, doesn't text, doesn't do anything. And then something brings him back to their hometown. And so Mariella, was obviously heartbroken when he basically ghosted her and then he's back like 10 years later or something so she's really trying to figure out her feelings and Harrison is very closed off um, and he doesn't really want to pursue a relationship or anything but they're like grown adults now so I thought it was very like weird the way that Harrison was acting um, I thought it was very repetitive in him not wanting to commit and it was very like long-winded in that way because it was just like a constant repetition of he's like yeah no i just want to be like friends with benefits i just want to use you for that i don't want to like commit i don't want to make any promises because i'm not gonna stay here in this hometown like i just don't like it here blah 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 and then um after they got over that fact because it is like the happily ever after romance um, the ending was just like ridiculous. Honestly, it was borderline ridiculous. It happened so fast and it just, it blew my mind. So gave it three stars. Wasn't the worst book. Um, I do think I want to actually read other books in this series following other characters. I think that might be a better, like I think I might like other couples better. It wasn't a bad book and I know like lots of people would love Harrison but he just wasn't for me and I didn't like the entire situation. So I ended up giving that three stars and yeah so that's that and I'll update you guys when I'm 50% into my current read which is Dead Draw. And then after that, um, I have not picked another book that I'm going to start yet. So I will have to pick that. And I'll let you guys know what I end up reading whenever I pick it. Hello, I'm here with a quick update. Because I'm 50% into Dead Draw. Um, I'm enjoying it. It's just a little like slow but fast. Uh, there's a lot going on plot wise because they're both like... FBI agents um, so they are trying to help each other with each other's cases so that's all moving fast and I'm curious about that but I feel like that sometimes overpowers like the romance aspect and the romance is moving like 
really slow which is understandable uh it is like a marriage of convenience type of situation so that could also be an aspect on why it's moving the way it is but as of now i'm enjoying it it's nothing like too groundbreaking for me uh, but i do love both of our main characters both marsh and levi i feel like they do both bring different things to the table with i which i am enjoying so i'm enjoying it overall but not like super loving it so that is pretty much it for now and i'll update you guys again later hello friends time for an update um so today is tuesday the 14th and yeah so last night i ended up finishing dead draw i ended up giving that book three stars um it wasn't necessarily like a favorite it was kind of just there for me like i didn't love it i didn't like, hate it it was just right in the middle for me uh so i did actually enjoy our two main characters which were levi and marsh um i liked seeing their relationship develop but unfortunately i feel like the book didn't dive into that as much as like it could have we were very much focused on like their mission because they are both fbi agents and they're both trying to solve these cases and i feel like that was very much at the forefront of the book and the romance definitely was like in the back seat um so i feel like i may have enjoyed it more if we got more from the actual romance but yeah night um i actually decided to just start three books which is fine um so yeah so the first one i'm so i'm going to be reading three books now so the first one is help me remember by corin michaels and that would be for the prom not talked about much which is originally going to be the deal maker but since i don't have that it's fine um so that's when i started and then i also started office date by rachel van dyken and that is for the prompt of new to you author and then the last book i started was curious by jess savage and that is for the book uh, that is for the prompt of under 300 pages so that's where, where i'm kind of at now but i do have a couple updates for you because i did actually get 50% into Curious last night. So in Curious, we're following our main character and she's kind of like by Curious right now. She's not sure what she is like actually, but she knows she's not 100% straight. Um, so she is kind of trying to figure out her boundaries and what she wants. She's trying to explore, um, but she found like a specific couple that she really likes. So we're just kind of exploring that. Um, but it is a really short book. So I am anticipating finishing it today. So far it's okay. Like we're just following her around uh, being in her head. And yeah. So when I get into 50% of the other books or finish Curious. Then I will be back for another update. But that is it for now hello friends so it is wednesday morning uh today is going to be the last day for this vlog but i wanted to pop on because i did have lots of progress yesterday um and i just didn't get a chance to hop on so uh last we spoke i believe i was 50 percent into curious by jess savage and i did end up finishing that um i gave that book three stars it was okay um there is enough of like a backstory for it to be like not just like straight smut or anything but it was really short um and like none of the characters were like super like my favorite um but it was kind of just there and yeah i don't really have like too strong of feelings for that book so with that i have officially completed the prompt for under 300 pages and yesterday i also ended up finishing office date by rachel van dyken um i didn't end up doing a 50 percent update for this but it's fine i ended up just flying through it was a pretty short book so that's okay but anyways i ended up finishing this book and that was for the prompt of new to you author so that that prompt is also complete for me anyways as of now um office date i ended up giving that book five stars i thought it was super fun it was super short like under 150 pages so it was super fast 
to get through but we basically follow our two main characters jack and ivy i believe is her name if i'm wrong that's embarrassing but that's fine but anyway so jack and ivy don't really like each other uh something happened in like high school or college where they just like were gonna be enemies like that that's that happened and i am that's what it is so yeah they're enemies whatever there's that uh but later they end up signing up for the same like internship and they get it so they're like forced to like work with each other and all of that in the internship but in this internship it's kind of like a weird internship like this um this owner this boss is like known for being on the weirder side so in order for them to get like a permanent job there they have to go through like this like challenge this like game thing so they end up teaming up because they don't actually know what the challenge is and then they end up needing to be like fake dating kind of for a little bit uh but so they go through the challenges and they realize that well actually they kind of already knew that they didn't hate each other but it was like different circumstances where they were like I don't know what I'm actually doing so yeah uh, but it was super fun I flew through it really quick um so much so that I didn't even want to stop for a 50% update but I ended up giving that one five stars super fun I know that she has like other books in that series I don't think they're like interconnected or anything but I definitely want to go and read more because they're super quick and super fun so i'm still working on help me remember by corin michaels uh, i haven't really started this i'm about like five percent in so nothing too crazy on that okay so i'm actually putting that in the prompt of not talked about much and that's replacing the book that i was supposed to read earlier which is the deal maker and the other book i'm currently reading is the air by nana malone and that is for the prompt of arc or borrowed book because i do have an arc um so the air is actually a novella so i'm anticipating getting through that today um and i'm not sure on help me remember let me go really quick and see how long it actually is and see if it's actually possible for me to finish this book okay so this book is about 300 like a little over 330 pages so in theory I should very much be able to finish this book today, but we'll need to see. So for the air, since it's a novella, I'm not entirely sure if I'll give you guys a 50% update. Um, if I feel the need to, then I'll hop on and do that. But the goal for today and to finish off this vlog is actually to finish the air and finish Help Me Remember, but we're gonna have to see how that goes but yeah so that is the update for now got a lot of reading in yesterday finished two books and hopefully we can finish two more today so i will update you guys again when i have made any progress hello friends um it is later in the evening but i just wanted to come on and give you guys my final update so i did end up finishing the air today um i mean it was super quick it was under 100 pages it was a novella but I did end up finishing that. I gave it four stars. I actually really enjoyed it, but I wanted more. And like, I get it. It's kind of like, I feel like it's a prologue sort of to a series that's coming or is already published. I'm not entirely sure, but it was like super short. And now I need more from the characters. And yeah, there's honestly not much that I could talk about with that book because I feel like I'll just spoil the entire thing if I talk about it. But it does kind of end on a cliffhanger. So I do have to look into whether or not the next book is out or not. Yeah, so I did end up finishing that and then help me remember Remember, I am currently 25% into that and I probably won't get to 50% before tonight ends. So I'm probably just going to end the vlog here. Um, I did want to do a quick recap on how the week went. Okay, so the first book that I finished this week was Lover and I gave that four and a half stars. Then I finished dead draw which i gave three stars then i read curious which i gave three stars office date i gave five stars and then most recently the air 
I gave four stars. So that's kind of where we are ending the vlog. Um, next week we will pick up with me continuing with Help Me Remember. And yeah, so that is all for this week. Uh, thank you for joining me. You can like, comment, and subscribe down below if you would like all of my socials to follow me anywhere else are in the description as always. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!